Hi guys, it's Sanjana here and I'm back with another video. Are you thinking of starting a campaign to raise money for a cause you find important but don't know how to start or what to expect? Well, you've come to the right place. If you want to support a cause or donate to your favourite charity or simply gain experience in leading your own initiative, then a fundraising campaign is the right way to go. But before we get into this video, please hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon so you never miss another video from this channel. So what is a fundraising campaign? Well, a fundraising campaign is used commonly by, but not limited to, charities and non-profits to gather or target amount of donations for a selected cause over a set period of time. Fundraising takes effort and it takes time. There are so many organizations and individuals vying for support that it may be hard to receive any attention on your campaign, but with the right steps and careful planning, it will be achievable to reach that target amount. So, step number one, create. So, since you're watching this video, I'm assuming most of the step is already set and you know what cause or charity you want to support, but just in case, some ideas might be to address a current issue. For example, I started a fundraising campaign that supported the fight against the COVID crisis in India. And I know my classmates are raising funds for the crisis in Afghanistan. So yeah, my advice would be to find a hot topic to raise funds on, especially as an individual. The goal. This part is usually self-explanatory once you've decided what you're going to raise your money for, but the goal also includes the amount you want to raise. So my advice for this would be to set a realistic amount since people in your community might get discouraged if the amount is set too high. But having said that, do not underestimate yourself as you might be surprised if your campaign takes off. Is your campaign short term or long term? This is an important step to consider. Short term cases uh, would fit the purpose for immediate crises and may need you to pull out all the stops to raise money with multiple different ideas for that specific case. Long-term cases may need you to start off by registering as an NGO, creating a website, and I can make a separate video on that, but for now, let's stick to short-term quick campaigns. Funding. There are multiple ways to fund your campaign. The most obvious would be to start a fund crowdfunding source on GoFundMe, for example, and this could be done a few simple steps by visiting the webpage and clicking on the start a GoFundMe. Also, do keep in mind the relevant state and country regulations. For example, here in Finland, we have to register in the police system before collecting any money. You can organize bake sales and depending on your skills, you can organize workshops for kids, for example. You can organize community runs and much more. And make sure to utilize social media to share your campaign as well. And the final part, donating. So once you've raised enough money, you should have an NGO or organization you'd like to donate to. Some tips would be never give in the moment. This basically means not to rush into choosing where you'd like to donate your money. And don't give in to the moment if it means that you have to make rash and quick decisions. If you find a charity that really appeals to you, but you're not sure of their credibility, try finding a charity that you already support that is donating to the same cause. Use familiar charities for new purposes. Remember to background check your charity before you open your wallet to donate this hard-earned money that you raised. Make sure your charity is using the money wisely. So there are many organizations that conduct this research and check for a charity's credibility. And some examples would be charitynavigator.org or guidestar.org and they are a good place to start and I'll link those in the description below. Another thing to think about when you're donating your money is whether you'd like to make local or global impact. So many people like to donate to local charities because they feel that their money has a larger impact in these smaller organizations. But maybe viewing the global versus local option not as an either or but combining them. So for example, you might consider donating to an international charity that supports poor communities. To sum up, enjoy the process and savor in the fact that you get to help someone in need. 
I have linked an example campaign that I led about a year ago for the fight against the COVID crisis in India. So for those of you interested, you can check that out as well. And that was a quick guide on starting fundraising initiatives. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions regarding fundraising initiatives, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and click that red subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.